Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, okay, so I have received a lot of inquiries to make a video kind of explaining how to do an opener and some general Windwalker Monk tips. Um, I haven't for a while because it got muted on Twitch and eh, I've been really lazy. Wait, uh, and I just decided it's time to do it. I also got a donation from Luciano to finally get it done. Um, so I'm going to point out that I'm very tired, so if I like sound tired or shit like that, I'm sorry, but uh, I will go over uh, two different ways how to open. And I'll explain a third concept as well. I'm going to show you how to open as Serenity, playing Serenity, and I will show you how to open as a Windwalker Monk playing Chi Explosion. Both of which I use Chi Brew. I never use Serenity this year. Um, they'll all be with Chi Brew, Chi Explosion, and I will also explain how to play with Windwalker Two Piece. Um, that is something as well that um, I will explain how to how to play. Um, that goes with Chi Explosion. And just to get a little background on Two Piece, I used Two Piece before it gets nerfed. I used Two Piece this whole instance this week, and I got a. Uh, I was doing crazy damage and everything. I did almost 40k in Butcher. Um, crazy damage on all the bosses. Um, and it's definitely the way to go for now. I think they'll nerf it, but you won't be able to do it till Foundry. But anyway, let me uh, let me go ahead and show you this. The first thing I'm going to show you is uh, Chi Explosion. Um, this is a normal Chi Explosion opener for me. As you see the pull timer is out. So very important things to note about Chi Explosion. Chi Explosion is always worth doing on multiple targets uh, at four for a single target. You want to use it at three. Three is numero uno, Chi Explosion wise. Fist of Fury always takes priority, by the way. Um, well, kind of, there's some intricacies to that, but um, three is better than two, or sorry, three is better than four and four is better than two. So three is the best, four is the second best single target and two is the is after that. And one, you should never use it at one. Unless like the boss is gonna die and you just want to spam an ability. Um, so I'm just gonna go through my opener here and play it through once. I uh, just do a normal, what you do with both openers is the first thing you do is Tiger Palm and then Rising Sun Kick. And then after that I uh, Chi Brew, Chi Explosion, Chi Brew, Jab, and then Pop All Make Cooldowns and Fist of Fury. So I'll, I'll, wa I'll play this through once up until the end of my first trinket. Say 10, boom, instantly Fist of Fury. Energy capping is okay. After that, immediately an Energizing Brew, you want to spam a little bit. I got a second trinket proc here, which is pretty lucky. Okay, after Energizing Brew, this is when I start rolling for a two-piece, which you can see. It's actually pretty stupid. You jump in place and roll, and I get this little buff you see on my screen there and basically just reduces the energy cost a ton. Right here I'm going to jab, or I'm going to Fist of Fury here, I believe. I should have Fist of Fury by now. Big mistake. I held it by like five seconds. I should have done it. Um, okay, please don't stop. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. So I'm going to go over the pull one more time. Is, it is important that you do it in these steps, and also, Serenity it is not important, necessarily, that you go in with 5 Chi. Um, you can go in with 4, 4 or 5 is ideal, 3 is doable, but not necessarily ideal, you will lose a Chi. Um, however, with uh, Chi Explosion, you want to start the pull with 5, which is why we do 22 second countdowns, so I can always make sure that I can expel and start with 5. If you don't start with 5, basically all it means is your second Chi Explosion will be 3 instead of 4, which is slightly less damage. So, not enormous, but, you know, yeah. Okay, so you Chi Waves win on the way in. Roll in. Put your debuffs up. Chi Brew, Chi Brew, pop everything, then CDs. And you guys can play that over and over again to see exactly the way I do it. If you guys need to pause this and see, um, to watch it in slow-mo. Okay, so, so I will, the buff you're seeing right here, this buff, let's see if I can get it right here, this buff, I'll, that, that is the Windwalker PvP 2 piece, and I'll explain exactly what that does at the end of this video. Um, but that is the opener for Chi, Chi Explosion. You will use that opener on any fight you ever use Chi Explosion on. Okay, so I am going to go to a Serenity opener.
This is Butcher from the previous week when I was playing Serenity. So there's been a lot of uh, discussion on when to Fist of Fury. Um, with a 10 second trinket, undoubtedly you want to Fist of Fury before your Serenity. With a 20, um, it was worth an argument to spam and do your Serenity first um, while you had Coin and Skull of War up when you had two 20 seconds and then wait for a Tiger Strikes to Fist of Fury. Um, there was some argument to that. However, I believe that it is better to Fist of Fury before Serenity no matter what trinkets you have. Um, and you will see that here. Um, small things about this fight, just general DPS tips on Butcher. You want to uh, save your second coin, I believe. I think it's your second coin. You only get two uses of coin in this fight, unless you're actually like surviving 20 seconds into the Berserk, which just isn't going to happen. So what you should do... Sorry. What you should do is... Uh, you should save, you shouldn't save Serenity. You should use your third Serenity and you should save it for like a Trinket Proc, Tiger Strike, Stringer Proc, something like that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's how that's going to work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this through. Show you all what's the deal. Moon Walker, by the way, is still a very good single target. I've been topping our guild every week. I think 36, 37, and 39k on Butcher. That's playing Serenity, and the 39k was playing Chi Explosion with two piece. Okay, so before I start it, I'm going to point out exactly how I do it. Two, I pre-pot at one. As soon as I do that, I, I uh, chi wave and invokes win, and then I roll into the boss. Okay, same debuffs as I applied as before, except with this, you do kind of a YOLO strategy. There is a less YOLO strategy that you can do. I will show you again in slow-mo exactly what I did. I full YOLO. I put up my debuffs, I Tiger Palm, I Rising Sun Kick, and then I double Chi Brew, and then I pop Tiger I Brew, and then I Fist of Fury with whatever I have. This allows me to get a few more GCDs off in my Trinket procs with all of my CDs up. It, it, exactly one more Blackout Kick, actually. Um, the alternative to this is to fit in a Blackout Kick in between your two Chi Brews, but I don't like doing that. I think wasting one chi while you're already energy capping, wasting one chi to get an extra GCD with trinkets is worth it. Also, if you go in, if you go in, okay, so to generate a tiger brew, you need to spend four chi, right? If you stay in the instance before the fight, if you spend three chi and you haven't spent that fourth chi yet, you can start the fight like that, so you actually are generating more chi. And on the opener, you can have this happen. You actually only need to spend one chi in that cycle to make this work. Um, but that is my cycle, so I will show it six seconds now. I pretty much do the YOLO. You'll see the double chi brew instant procs after I do it. So ready, roll in, use that. Tiger Palm, Rising Sun Kick, YOLO. And I got eight there, which is pretty decent. After this, I jab immediately into Serenity. Got a Tiger Strikes there, which is pretty lucky. Then you touch a Karma before the second stack. Highly recommended. Or no, I, I started doing it later. I forgot. I was using it not for DPS and to actually help. Touch of Karma is very good on this fight. I think I use it here. Maybe the bounding? Okay, I don't know what I was doing this pull. I have AIDS. That's fine. Um, oh no, there it is. Okay. It absorbs the whole dot, by the way. Always transcendence the boundings, like you watch me do. I'm just going to give a few fight tips. That's why I'm going over this butcher kill right now. Okay, so what I have come up here is my second energizing. Now, there's some choices to make with Tiger I Brew here.
Some people right here tiger I brew into fists before this. I disagree with that. I hold my fists to before my serenity. Say fists now, and then I probably jab jab serenity. Yeah. Okay. So that's just a little bit of that. You'll see when I use my trinket later. Also, always glyph touch of death for this. I ended up top at this, like 37k, I believe. Um, so that's the serenity opener. Um, now, as far as how chi explosion with two piece works, which is what I want this video. I feel like everyone's kind of figured out the opener by now by watching me play enough. But I just started playing with this two piece, and you guys really should um, get this two piece until they nerf it. In my opinion, it's way funner to play. Using roll as a DPS cooldown is fucking awesome. Like, it's very cool. And uh, it's also, you have to plan because you can't use it as movement. You can use it as movement, actually. Um, it's just a little more difficult. So let's go ahead and go through my VOD of the Chi Explosion, which I recently closed. That's awkward. But here, let me go to my profile, past broadcasts, Mythic Clear, and let's find Brackenspore because I beat this shit out of Brackenspore. Uh, playing this. Okay. So, again, I'll show Brackenspore at the beginning. This might actually be our wipe. Let me see if this is where we let the cast go off. No, this is 100% not the wipe. Okay. Alright, cool. So this is us in front of the boss. Okay, so I do my normal G explosion opener. I don't really get into a lot of the other stuff until the other guy gets out. Keep in mind, the stuff that I'm going to explain with two piece uh, is all specifically for after. So you guys have seen my G explosion opener. It was earlier, I just do a normal one here. Um, Something to note is that I do not abuse rolls, and I do not use the rolls until after my Energizing Brew is over. I always use Energizing Brew over my rolls, um, just to keep it on cooldown. Um, generally, Bracken Spore is a very good fight for Windwalker, however, it's very awkward because when your trinkets come up and your Energizing Brew comes up, you can't optimally use it with the add. However, two set fixes this problem because it absolutely is retarded with the amount of, it basically devalues haste so much. Because um, it basically gives you jab for free, and the rolling in place trick that you see me doing by jumping helps a lot. So you'll see me do it afterwards. When you see me get that buff, very important. You want to get three jabs off in every buff. I mess it up a few times in this fight because I just started doing it today, and I apologize for that. But every time you do it, you should get three jabs. Sometimes you'll fuck up and get two, which isn't awful. But, I mean, it's worth a good bit of DPS. So, um... I will let you guys watch this attempt, and I will talk through it, and that will be the end of the video. Um, but generally, so you can see if I do my normal opener into immediately into Energizing Brew, I think I use a 3 here, and I use a 4, and then a 3, 4, jab, 3, probably. Oh god, that opener was juicy, holy lord. Okay, I get off that, I come over here, I believe I... Then I touch a death that, run back in, send med through that. I wanted to send, I wanted to karma the boss, but uh, I should, I should uh, fist of fury here. Okay. Um, I wanted to karma the boss, but I didn't have glyph in, for obvious reasons. I couldn't hit the boss. Okay. Clone Brackensburg and the Fusher. This is where the rolls hacks start. Like, just look at all the chi explosions, man. Look at the spam. Like, look how unbelievably broken that is. Just watch it. 
So yeah, um, the, you guys are seeing how I'm handling it. It's actually a lot harder to manage than normal Windwalker, honestly. So if you guys are having enough trouble just doing it, I wouldn't even bother with this. You're going to probably be killing yourself more than it would be worth it. Um, but as far as doing damage, as you can see from the DPS meters, that this two set... Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm usually 10k ahead, but I'm not 20k ahead. You know, like, the, the two set is just way too strong. Um, it will be nerfed before Foundry. If it isn't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that's just horrible design that they would let that be in the game. Um, but yeah, that is the two set for now. That is how you play it. You can rewind and watch to see how it works out. If you have any questions, put it in the comments or come to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash maxisgoatlord, and I will try to help you out. All right, peace.